Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to try to answer most of your questions about the Stimulus Unemployment Care Act. I know a lot of you guys reach out to me, you try to apply for your unemployment benefit, but couldn't. So let me try to explain what's going on. So here's what's going on. Before the stimulus package, type of workers such as Lyft drivers, Uber drivers, Airbnb hosts, realtors, self-employed people, these type of workers were not qualified to receive unemployment benefits from the state. So this is why you're having so much trouble trying to apply for unemployment benefits to your specific state. So according to most states, they're trying as hard as they can to get their system updated so you can apply for your benefits. Under the Stimulus Care Act, who qualify to apply for unemployment benefits? If you've been laid off, furloughed, or your hours has been significantly cut due to what's going on right now, you are qualified to apply for unemployment benefits. How much do you get? Under the Stimulus Unemployment Care Act, you get $600 from the stimulus package, plus whatever your state is already giving you. For example, the state of Florida, where I'm at right now, the state unemployment is $275 a week, plus you will receive the $600 from the stimulus package, which, which puts you at a total of $875 a week. So you have to find out from your specific state the amount of unemployment and add the $600 stimulus package on top of that. And also guys, very important, under the Stimulus Care Act, Unemployment Care Act, the unemployment benefits is 39 weeks. Hey, do me a favor guys, give this video a thumbs up so you can help more people watch it because a lot of people need this information right now. Thanks. Some of the questions you guys had, what if you quit your job, can you get the $600? So if you voluntarily quit your job, no, you cannot apply for the stimulus money. Now, if you had no choice, you had to quit your job because of what's going on right now, it's a different story. So some of you which out to me did not fully understand the difference between the $1,200 stimulus check and the $600 unemployment. The $600 is unemployment because you're not working, your hours has been cut, or you cannot physically do your job as a result of what's going on right now. The $1,200 is a rebate from the government. The $600 is unemployment benefits. One has nothing to do with the other. You guys also ask, what if you're already receiving unemployment from your state? Can you get the 600? And the answer to that is yes, you will get the extra 600 on top of what you're already receiving right now. And also, if you were already receiving unemployment benefits, but your time has run out, you can also reapply to get the $600 from your specific state. We need to get money to small business and American workers, and that's what we're doing. The SBA and Treasury committed to get this program up and running tomorrow. And when Jovita says people working around the clock, they literally, we had both teams working till four o'clock in the morning and start working again today. We've heard feedback from lenders, community banks, regional banks, and we spent the last 24 hours making this system even easier. So this will be up and running tomorrow. I encourage all small businesses that have 500 or fewer people, please contact your lenders. Any FDIC institution will be able to do this, any credit union, existing SBA lenders, and FinTech lenders. Uh, you get the money, you'll get it the same day. That's what he said yesterday. This is not happening. As a matter of fact, let me share an email from Chase with you guys. This is an email I received from Chase today. So after I got this email, I reach out to them. So here's what's going on. According to Chase, today, the 3rd, April 3rd, they're still awaiting guidance from the SBA and the Treasury. So they will not be processing any applications. If you, if you do fill out an application, you won't be getting any money today. Somebody will get back to you. I don't know when, probably sometime next week when they figure it out, but you will not be getting any money today. You will be in line for someone to call you and finish processing your application. More questions about the stimulus checks. I published a video last night, I'll link it on the card. If you're receiving social security benefits, you don't have to go and file your taxes to receive the stimulus check. They all use the information they already have in file to wire that money to you. And if you don't have a bank account, they will be setting up a portal where you can enter your banking information within a couple of days, according to what they said. If you don't have an account, you actually want to check. Like I said last night, the first check won't be coming out until May. And that's for the and they're starting from the bottom. They're starting from the bottom. Which means you can wait months. Some projection even saying five months to receive that check. I suggest that you get a free account if you don't have one already. And Put those numbers in there so you can get that money as soon as possible. They're going to start to send money out the week of April 13th. So that's a week and a half from now. 
And as always, guys, thank you again for watching. If this is your first time here, my name is Paul with Sunset Realty, and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So please subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. Stay safe, guys.